Good morning. Okay. We are introducing Pablo Acosta from Colombia, South America, and he is going to share with us his wonderful and perfected techniques on painting the Dresden style. Welcome, Pablo. Hello, everyone. Now, um, first of all, I want I wanted to tell you that this is a technique that it is not very fast for painting, but we have the advantage that we we will we will use only one or two times the kiln. You fire one two times at most very rarely three times because you can paint all the things in one uh, for one fire and that is what i am trying to to show you today for that um, technique we need a closed medium and i use the medium uh, that is used in the in mason manufacture. And that is um, evaporated turpentine. And it is called in the United States, fat oil. Fat oil is sold in many, many different uh, consistencies. And, but if you have the, the will to, learn to do it very good. I, I propose to you to take the time and put your own turpentine to evaporate. I use my turpentine, my evaporate turpentine. You see, it is very, very, it is not thick. It is not very thick, but it is very good to paint. The second thing I use is the turpentine is a little dirty because I was painting now. And the third thing I use, this is thinner. The thinner I use only to, pull, uh, to, to clean uh, the, the porcelain and to uh, erase um, errors. Now I will show you how I, I mix the colors because I don't mix a lot of color because the, the, the closed medium uh, dries very fast. And if you don't paint every day and um, remove the color uh, each, each day, it will be afterwards like a stone, very hard. And that is not very good. So I, I uh, mix the colors that I need uh, each, each time I will paint, especially because here where I am um, living now is very hot and the colors dry very, very fast. So I have here the color. This is a rose color. I don't give you uh, special names because I am against special names. You should always have your, uh, um, your colors um, fired in order to know how it looks after fire. So I take my evaporated turpentine or or um, fat oil and mixed with the color. As you see, it has a very good consistency. It is not very hard to mix in. Now, in order to avoid very fast drying. I will use some oil of cloves that ensure me 
that the, the drying process will be uh, a little relentless. This I use only for the first, um, for the first um, step. That's, that is to put the, the color as a base. I will, I will show you this. This is the base, like that is the base. Here I have all, here is base also. And here I have base and a little, little shadows over the base. So I let the base dry and I paint over it. Um, I have experience that if I make the, I fire the base and I paint over it, it will be easier, but the results are not the same because when the colors smelt in the kiln together in one fire, the results are different they melt together different. So that is why I, I try to, to use one, only one, um, one fire. Now I will show you how I, I put the base. I will not show you how to, to make the, the trace over the, the the piece because that all of you know how. Here I have my 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 turpentine, my fat oil. I put a little bit fat oil here. My brushes, my brushes are round brushes. I never use um, flat brushes. Some, uh, some, many painters paint with with uh, flat brushes, but I, I have never learned um, very well how to paint with flat br brushes because I have painted always, always my whole life with round br brushes. So now I take the color. and begin I try to make the most with one load of color because so I will have at the beginning more color and at the end less color. So I have afterwards the perfect balance between light and shadow. This technique is, uh, has its origins on, on um, watercolor techniques, the techniques with 
Um, um, Mm. codes of color. So we use the same technique. We put one coat and let dry and then put the next coat and so on. You can put very much, many, many coats. The problem is that when you have too, more, too much fat on your coats, you will have like a milfe. Then uh, it, will, it will not um, fire very good because it, you will have some Um, some um, air in between the, the, the many coats and the, the color will, will split. Well, um, now we will do, I know the, most of you are waiting for this. I'm not very explicit with the forms because the forms will take place in the next step. Here is, it is very, um, it will be, very similar as painting with with open medium because you put the color and then you you need to to take the lights out I will clean my brush, a little turp. I press the brush to take all the turp and begin to make the light. Okay. Again, always when I clean my brush and will paint again, I will put a little bit fat oil on my paints uh, on my brush because the brush must be a little fat before you put the color in because if you if your brush is not with with um, fat the the crystals of the color will will um, rest on the brush and you will not be able to paint Mm. 
big surfaces, I put the color on the border. And then with a little fat oil, I grab the color that I put on porcelain and it inside. Here, I will put a little more color in the inner part. to be able to clean my brush and accentuate this and this. Next one. I'll do a little different. I'll put color also. In the inner part. And again, I go inwards. Clean the brush. I don't use the wipeout tool because I have discovered that when I use the the wipe up tool, it let it let the color in the borders, and that is not very good for my painting. Well, good. You will, you will say, ah, oh, but it is not very nice. It, it, it looks not very nice. Of course, it looks not very nice because it is the first step. Afterwards, we have two different ways to go. Or you put the shadows and then you make the design or you make the design first and afterwards you put the shadows. I will show you here. Here I have, this is only base and design. Base and design. Here I have put uh, some shadows with the dark color. Here I have only, only base and design. Also here, here I have put shadows and design, but it is not already uh, done. I will put more color on it, okay? Here I, you see this is only the base. You can see the difference between, I here I put, more color here i put a little less color here i have a medium size and here is a dark again that gets me the 3d effect 
here, well, well, you can see here is also design, here is design. Here I have not designed. And in this, in these ones, I have only uh, shadows here, here, and here. The rest has no shadows. These dark parts are part of the design. I will show you that afterwards. The, all, the other way to move, to make it is to make first the design and then color it. That was the first technique they used in, in Europe to paint porcelain because they were, they were um, copying the, um, the copper plate um, illustrations. So they imitated the copper plate and then they colored it. I will do it yet. I have the, the design with dark color and I will use the base color that is a rose to color it. I have I have not fired. I will paint over the unfired painting. If you want to paint like that, I recommend you to practice watercolor because watercolor is a technique that gives you the, the skills to Mm, be able to paint like that without wiping out, without uh, corrections, because your skills on brush work will be perfect. That is very, very, very important. Okay, I will continue a little bit here. So you will see more about dark, and light. You see these three flowers are very dark because I have one here that is almost white. So I will put a little bit rose on the light flower. Just a little bit. And then I will mark the, the, the flower with the flowers that are behind. This is a technique that is very, very common in, uh, in Dresden painting. You know, in, in the United States, in uh, English, they, they call it Dresden style. And It is meant more mason technique because in Dresden, in Dresden they paint very, very similar, but the, the painting 
um, has much more design. It's a little more, it's not very fine. It's very nice, but it's not very fine because they paint only uh, for um, cheap, in, in quotation, cheap painting. So they paint very, very fast. And for that, they need to paint with more design. I don't I don't know exactly if they use if they use um, the pen to paint it. But I don't think so because when you have the practice, you can make the whole design with a with a brush, with a very good brush, very, very uh, fast. Okay, I have, as you see, I have here the, the light flower and the dark ones. I will now take the white out because I need the difference very, very, very clear. So you see, I put my brush in thinner to be able to get all the, the fat from my brush. Oh, I try it very good. And now, Okay, and here. You see? Okay. Immediately I clean my brush with turpentine because turpentine has a little fat. And so my my brush will not burn out because the thinner burns um, the hairs of the brush. So I use it only very, very, very um, rare. One, two, one. One, one, two. Hopla. Too much color. As you see, I for the base, I have only one. I use only one brush. You can use all the brushes you want, but I like to paint with little, quantities of brushes because each time you change your brush, you will need to accustom your hand uh, to the shape of the brush, to the way the brush um, react to your movements and so on. 
And when you paint a lot and, and you paint for, for selling, you need to make um, your paintings very fast. We so we said this will be light, a light one. Here is also a light one. Here is a dark one. And as you see, I make the part who is under the other one, I make it a little bit darker and the part who is over the other, a little bit lighter. Here, this ones. Other another thing that you must put attention is that not all the not all the bouquet is painted in the same quantity of color because they are things that are only to 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 full the the to make it uh, full and you make it very light so it is in underground you will not take out the importance of big flowers so you paint very light Okay, here, this side is a little darker and the other side is a little lighter. And this flower is very similar as, as this flower. Um, you have one, Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here. Make a little correction here. Okay. Now we'll do this, these ones. Okay. 
hand here, I need to, to clean because I, I bent it outside to the beak. So I clean with a very clean brush. These are very similar as, as these ones. So we have a little bit darker here, a little, little bit darker here, and here is fast, fast white. And here we have this. Clean my brush and Now, Here, I uh, will put the color on the border. And then with a little fat oil, I will get the color in. They were not very exact um, on uh, the specifications of the flowers. They were only trying to, um, to bring in the winter the, the, the flowers of summer and, uh, and uh, 
to to make winter a little bit more livable because we don't know exactly how they they uh, they lived they have they have very much just a minute. They have and in wind in winter they have only four till five hours of flight. And they they could not paint very much in winter. We are very lucky to be able to paint the whole the whole year. Doesn't matter which season. As you see, my color will just be enough to finish the bouquet. I have I have already the measure in my brain. Now the base is ready. After that, you can put the uh, shadows on the dry. I, I will let it dry a little bit. And in between, I will show you here in these things that are already, already, um, Right. So I have my rose color. I will put a little more so that you can see. And in order to, to be able to look a little more what I'm doing, I put a little bit of the dark color. I need only a little bit darker. Now, for the first part, I told you, I put a little, um, a, a drop of uh, oil of cloves. But when I am doing the second part, when I am painting over the on fire color, you must not take this oil because you will refresh the color that is under and we will, you will take it out. So it is better to have a very good fat oil ready to paint and your turp. Take the color, very light. You paint very light over. I will do it here. Now. Only 
in specific places. No here. Here, I don't have, I, th this is only, only base. Here I have already put some shadows, but here I have only base. You see the difference is uh, in color is only because I put the base starker or lighter. Now, I will do it. If you don't have the experience, the skill, try not to repaint over, oh, that, that means only one brush stroke over the, the unpainted, uh, on fire color. Because when you put the color, it refresh what is under. And if you pass over, you will take the color out. So you can, if you want to put more color, you can wait until it is um, dried. And you will say, oh, but that is, that's it not very good. Just, just, just wait until the design is done. Unfinished business are not very good business. So, And that's the way. I will put now the uh, design. I don't wait very um, many uh, much time before I do the design because it is it is easier to paint over um, sticky colors. When the color is not uh, very dark, very uh, dry, it is sticky. And so you can do the design easier. I will mix now the um, dark color. I use 
for my design, my drawing, and put only, only turp and fat oil. And I let it not too fat. Better if the color is not too fat, because I will I will use more, um, a lot of turp and the turp will um, turp will evaporate, and so you will have always more and more and more fat on the color. And that is not very good. So I take with my, my liner, I take fat oil. I put fat oil, only fat oil over the whole brush the brush must be full. And then I put the brush on my paper and I dry only the, the point. Here is the fat oil and here is dry. And with this part, I take my color. A little bit turp, turp and I take the color in this way, trying to roll the brush when it's on the air, in the air, in order to get a very sharp point. Now, design or drawing. And as you see, I do not make continuous lines. I try only to enhance the effect. Maybe not.
You see, I put the color over the the other one that is not already dry, but only one time. Very, very careful. And here. Yeah. Here I made first shadows, then design. Here I have design and I will make shadows. But for the shadows, I need a lighter color. So I will take a little bit from this and I will put my rose. For the shadows, I can use a little more fat but I will not put the fat on the on the palette. I will to take the, the fat with the brush. Because so I have more the control. I can control the, the quantity of fat. And that means I take the control of the translucency of the color. This one. Okay. Now. No clove of oil, oil of cloves. Only turp and fat oil. Not too fat either, because if it is too fat, <clears throat> it will fry in the kiln. And that is not a very good thing. Now, we'll do it like this.
I'll take here a little bit oil. <clears throat> Mix with the turp I have here. And so I, I have a more translucent color. You see? I'll do here the same I did here, but not so dark. And profit, make some. Overlapping. Yes. And now, <clears throat> if I want this overlapping to be more visible, I'll take. Okay. Now we will make the, the rose. The rose has um, various um, darkness levels. So I begin with the darkest part that is in the middle. And then again here. I will take a little bit more dark and do this part here. Just a little more dark. And here, I forgot to make the design here.
And now <clears throat> I need to, to clean. to clean here. This I will do a little different. From outside inwards. Here I have, this is dark. And here you have dark. A little more. And here I will do the shadow of this petal over this petal. And I let a little bit light because of this one. I finish this one here. <clears throat> now I will do this one. Okay. <clears throat> now we will use the dark one. Do you remember the Little flowers that are very dark. This one is very dark, but the other ones also here. So. And in the moment I make these ones darker, you see immediately this one becomes fast white.
here I have already very, very dark, but I will put a little more because I may need to take it very deep. Do not worry because when it burns, when, when, you, when you fire it, it will be more translucent and you will see the whole thing. You see now the white flower over the dark ones. I will do here a little bit shadow from this petal over this. Okay. <clears throat> now I'll go to the, the design of these flowers and these ones, uh, as well as, as the, the leaves. If you want to know how these flowers look in nature, just Google ranunculus. And you will see it. They are like little roses, very nice ones multiple layers of petals. Okay. And this, this little. stems. Thank you. 
Okay. If you want to make questions, uh, I am fast finished. At this time, if you would like to unmute yourself and ask Pablo a question, and then after you've asked the question, please mute yourself back because it is a speaker view. So anyone who would like to ask a question. As you see here, when I make the, the design, uh, it becomes more clearly. What it is. Well, at this time, we do not have any more questions, Pablo. So I would like to thank you so much for sharing with us. And we will say goodbye until we meet again on Zoom. Thank you, Pablo, so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you, and have a nice day. Thank you.